From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Here are some of your top stories on this Saturday. Across Connecticut this morning, lives are kicking into high gear. There are several being held around the state, organized by the Boy Scout troops and ambulance services. Because of rising food costs and the end of pandemic safety nets, experts say getting meals to those who are hungry is critical this year. The Labor Department says consumer prices jumped 6.2% in the past year, the highest inflation rate since 1990. And if you're running to the grocery store this morning and you want to pick up a few items, here's a list of the places where you can drop off your donation. In Danielson, the Elks Lodge will collect food from 10 to 4. Milford's Drive is at Wasson Field from 7 this morning to 8 tonight. And in Westport, the Post Road East will, at the Stop and Shop, they will be collecting items from 10 to 3. Developing news on a story that we first brought to you back in June. Manchester police have now arrested a 14-year-old boy for the murder of a 13-year-old girl. Zaniah Wright was found murdered in the apartment where 14-year-old Tristan Martin lived. After a five-month investigation, Manchester police served an arrest warrant, and we've learned that he will be tried as a juvenile. An update now on a story that has captured the attention across the state. Police have identified two people caught stealing from a grocery store in Oxford, and now police in several towns are trying to figure out if they're connected to other crimes happening around Connecticut. One of those was in Wallingford, where a suspect was caught on camera putting TVs into a tan minivan. Police are not releasing the suspect's names. They say this is still an open and active case. Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Lauren Richardson here in the Early Warning Forecast Center. And yes, we are looking at once again above average mild temperatures for this time of the year. So we're talking about highs in the upper 50s. We're gonna be seeing a mix of sun and clouds this morning, followed by some showers and the potential for some isolated storms this afternoon. Here's a look at our severe threat. So we are in the marginal risk category for our entire state. We could be seeing some very gusty winds as well as the potential for an isolated storm. Tonight though, this should clear out those forecasts lows are very chilly actually breezy conditions continue and then for tomorrow only a high of 49 degrees Sunday into Monday we've got the potential for some rain and even some snow in the northwest hills but that clears out pretty quickly have a great day everyone